There's a rave party going on to cave. Travis says he likes Chloe. He then climbs up and says he is invincible as he jumps down. He dies from the fall. Pete's somehow stung by something behind the walls and suddenly becomes happy. The next day, Pete's riding recklessly. When Clark asks if he's okay, he acts strange and elated. Lana says that Travis was on something. Clark then asks her out on a date and she agrees. As Clark's cleaning the caves, Lex wonders why he's always down there. Clark says he's doing a term paper on the drawings. But Lex sees a book on Clark about mysterious hieroglyphics by Dr. Frederick Walden. He then says that security won't allow anyone else in the cave except for Clark. Lana also tells Chloe that she's going on a date with Clark. We then see Professor Walden at the mansion. Lex wants him to start investigating the caves tomorrow, but the man has to go on a trip to Chile and reject his paycheck. When Lex shows him the pictures, he's interested. Clark says that Pete's acting strange. When Chloe asks him what he's doing the weekend, he doesn't respond. She then says that Travis had a puncture wound at the back of his neck with an increased adrenal gland. Two others also died and had the same wounds who also acted bizarre. Clark then sees Pete who suddenly jumps happily in front of a moving bus. When he saves him, he's acting ecstatic and when Clark wants to take him to a doctor, he starts shouting that Clark is an alien and then runs off. Chloe and Clark are investigating the caves. She finds green goo behind an opening. As the professor approaches, she gets stung as well and her attitude changes. Clark recognizes Dr. Walden but is told that they can't be in the cave when he's investigating. Chloe leaves off with a rude remark. Pete's angry and Clark's parents call his parents. Clark then sees a parasite inside of him and wants him to see a doctor. But Pete suddenly unveils a kryptonite stone and Clark is suffering. He threatens to expose the spaceship as well if he comes near him again. Dr. Walden shows the parasite they found. He believes someone put them there purposely. Lexum requests that live specimens are sent to Cadmus Labs. Clark suddenly finds Chloe making out with a random guy. She tells him that he doesn't have the guts to tell her about his date. But he wants her to check up on Pete. However, she is acting strangely as well. Clark cancels his date as he needs to save Pete who might die. Chloe and Pete then enter. When Lana sees Pete in a seemingly good state, she thinks Clark lied and storms off. Pete then sneaks a red kryptonite into Clark's shirt. They then all act crazy. Clark shows off his super strength, heat vision and speed in front of Chloe. She then jumps off and Clark shows off his powers once more. Lex then tells Clark that Walden won't budge. Clark's angry. When Lex tells him not to cross the line, he says to stay away from him. Chloe and Clark start making out at the town. When he removes the shirt, the red stone falls out and Clark freaks out. Chloe says that Clark always uses her but she wants him. He then sees that she also has a parasite. Lana walks in and gets mad. Chloe rubs it in and she then goes off crying. Clark then finds out that Pete slipped a red stone. When he wants to take him to a hospital, he knocks Clark out whilst holding the green stone. Chloe and Pete then decide to drive off a cliff. Just as they're about to crash, Clark catches the car. He then finally brings them to the hospital. Chloe then says that she doesn't remember any of it. Lana then tells Chloe that her date is off with Clark. Jonathan worries because Pete used the stones on Clark, but he then enters and apologizes. Lex says that the parasite's DNA is alien. He also says that he must allow Clark into the caves as he knows things about it. When Clark arrives to apologize, Lana thinks he and Chloe still have feelings for each other. He has to leave as she rejects him. 